honestly speaking, if I am by any chance close to Bola Tinobu, I would advise him to rest. Are you getting it? Okay, sir. Because number one, you see, the stakes are higher now. The last time he was saying it uh, humorously that he was not going on a uh, hundred meter distance. It's going to be more than that, though. Because before the emergence of Buhari, the stakes were not as high as this. But Nigerians are more interested in who become the president. Ah, Iyanya mm. Posa. You don't understand. Mm. Before now, they don't even care about who become the president. Because but who does not care now? Bag of rice was 8,000. Now it's 23, So the stakes 000. are higher. If you have a drum, and you put water inside that drum, and it's leaking, do you go to get more, more, more water? No, sir. So you are blocked without injury? Yes, sir. Then, sir. I don't know why we have got to this level in this country. We are in serious MS in this country. Mm. If you are a baker and you bake bread, yes, sir. You cannot shape, you cannot change it, the shape of that bread on the on the mold. Yeah. The problem is it's not about individual. We base too much emphasis and focus on individual. Mm. The structures are not functioning. Mm. Politicians deliberately destroy the function and institutions so that they can undermine it. Federal structure, Nigerian federal structure is a fraud. I'm a student of political science. Mm. Okay. Sir, how can you, in, you have exclusive list, concurrent list and residual list. There is no federal system in the whole world that the exclusive is so loaded like Nigeria. How can you be having federal ministry of rural affairs? I want to come federal government for rural affairs. Democracy cannot work in a country where you have poverty and illiteracy. Because the first thing that poverty take away from you is your capacity to think. Mm. So one person can think for 100 people. <laughs> and in Western democracy, votes are counted, they are not weighed. You look at the quantity of the vote, but not the quality. Presidency is very complex. It's complex, sir. It's very complex. There are a lot, the, the, the power equation is very tough. Okay. So I, 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 I will rather crave the indulgence of so many other people, not because they are not great people, but there's a difference between good leader and the right leader. Rounding up, sir, uh, a lot of people, when we bring you back, a lot of people want us to talk to you about uh, the election because people want you to give their religion about the election coming up in 2023 and the roles of politicians. We have a lot of politicians, sick ones, that mm. are aspiring to rule this country at all costs. You see their hands shaking, their bodies shaking, even their voices cracking, but they tell you they still want to become president. A lot of things happening. A lot of people are proving all sort of tedious things to just rule. So people want you to talk about that. Then people also want you to talk about the power of the night and power yeah, of the yeah. Yes, but that's when we're bringing you because of what you want to do now. When we bring you next time, we won't give you the ample to talk about that. But right now, a lot of people say we should ask you that are you not thinking of writing your book and how can they get some of this knowledge documented in books and how can they support you? People from America, from London, from Australia, from Canada, a lot of people watching us all over the world who are very interested in the beauty of knowledge. 
Sir, before I talk about my boobs, honestly speaking, I'm so sad about the level we are politically. Mm. Sir, if you have a drum and you put water inside that drum and it's leaking, do you go to get more, more, more water? No, sir. So people are blocked without injury. Yes, sir. Then, sir. I don't know why we have got to this level in this country. We are in serious MAs in this country. Mm. And one, let me tell you, sir, if you are a baker and you bake bread, yes, sir. You cannot shape, you cannot change the shape of that bread on the on the mold. Yeah. The problem is it's not about individual. We base too much emphasis and focus on individual. The structures are not functioning. Mm. Politicians deliberately destroy the function and institutions so that they can undermine it. In America and other advanced countries, either the president is there, is not there, institutions are working. I, I went to address the executive of Kogi state government mm. four years ago. Mm. And I told, I told my governor and all the ESCO members, I said, sir, number one, no parent get commended for his commitment to paternal responsibility. Mm. So it is wrong for anybody to congratulate a governor or anybody for any project. You cannot congratulate a man for sleeping with his wife. No, sir. Position comes with responsibility. And politics is about authoritative allocation of value. If you are not allocating value, you are not in politics. Hmm. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. It's about the capacity to inspire on common trend. I love Awolo War so much. Are you getting it? He added value to humanity. When you when you tag the road, are you getting it? How, how, how can you be so stupid for we well, to, to congratulate you? What is your job? What is your responsibility? It is when you inspire a common trend. For example, there was no TV. I will not brought TV. That's a value addition. It's your capacity to inspire a common trend that makes you relevant in any political system. It's not when you say, eh, hey, you are giving somebody an award on security. What is your work before? Girl. You want to give me a award for sleeping with my wife? Or for raising your child in school? Uh, yes, yeah, son. For paternal responsibility? Mm. And pipe one water. People are celebrating. They haven't taken speeches in the newspaper. To congratulate to you? The governor, yeah. Sir, that is no sense, sir. Politics is about the allocation of values. So where you are not adding value, you are not in politics. It's about your capacity to inspire a common trend. It's about who gets what, how, and when. Are you getting it, sir? Yes, sir? Then coming to this election, sir, why are we like this? Okay. Until you restructure this country. This is not federalism. Why are we deceiving the people? Okay. What is the essence of federalism? It's because there are component units. I'm a cabaman from Kogi. No tribe is more superior than my own. I agree. It's because of this diversity we created federalism. Then why are we operating in unity system? It is a fraud, sir. Our federal structure is a fraud. There's no, there's no federal fiscal for, for policy. How can I have, have a senator? Mm. Senator Smadadeyemi? And your office will be in Abuja doing what? Are you not the one representing me? Of course. In Kogi and Center. a senator from Kogi, Kogi is raising a, 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 a bill and somebody in Gombe is seconding it. What do you know about Kogi? Are you getting it, sir? Okay. Is that not nonsense? Utterly nonsense. I, 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 I'm coming, sir. My senators are supposed to be in Kaba. Your office is supposed to be there and holding meeting with with uh, with uh, uh, those in local government. What is their name? I want supervisor. Eh? Yes. Uh, Other councillors. Councillors. Sir, federal structure, Nigerian federal structure is a fraud. I'm a student of political science. Hmm. Okay. Sir, how can you in you have exclusive list, concurrent list, and residual list? There is no federal system in the whole world that the exclusive is so loaded like Nigeria. How can you be having federal ministry of rural affairs? Everyone can federal government for rural affairs. And the budget demand that take it to Abuja. How can you have it? There's nothing like federal ministry of education. Education is a rural thing. Head, you have general uh, federal medical center in local, they are doing what? Okay. Is it that the governor is about to take up local? Yeah? Yes, sir. And the local government chairman. You carry the budget you want to bring to local, yeah? all of all carry it to federal, federal Porsche. And the federal people who do not even know what we need. 
The first law of development is need assessment. Need assessment. Yes, sir. You cannot develop people who you have not articulated, aggregated their need. And you cannot develop them from above. You have to empower the local government who have the capacity to articulate and regret their interests, know their need, and begin to develop it. Mm. The only thing that's about to be an exclusive list is defense. Not even police. Foreign affairs and CBN. Every other thing they call federal ministry is a fraud. Mm. Over some, something people, a percent of Nigeria, the rural areas, you have to devote power to them. Are you getting it, sir? What I agree. Is, what, okay, uh, uh, why, is, why is the territory of the federal? The exclusive with that, I know that. Mm. A road that passes Konyo in my community, they call it federal road. So is that no madness? <laughs> federal road in Konyo. <laughs> uh, you, you understand? These are issues supposed to, you are talking about election, election. Nothing will happen, it can only get worse. You got, that's what they call the conspiracy of the elite. And structural deficiency will not allow development to come here. Oh God. Development about to come from the rural areas. From the they are, yes, they have been capacitated. Are you getting this, sir? I can give you more than one thousand of sector in agri that will concentrate on the rural areas to come up. In the situation where the governor wants to take all the money. Look, 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 look at where we find ourselves. All the structure, the system, sir, is fraud. Hmm. For example, look at what they call democracy. Sir, I said it with all sense of responsibility. Western democracy cannot work in Nigeria. Why, sir? American democracy cannot work here. Why, sir? But we are not America. I is America, sir. Okay. Let me tell you, the hypothesis upon which Western democracy was based on is they have high level of literacy, number one, and the people, they have high level of literacy and employment. Mm. In Western democracy, if four of us who are here, yes, sir. we decide to vote for Damsa because we are educated, we are enlightened. We know the issues at stake. Yes, sir. Just five at the Majiri, two more color, we want to contemplate. They don't know what's happening. Five of them, they have nullified and countered our votes. Ugao. Five at the will counter the vote of four professors. Five insensible people will nullify. Is that democracy? Sense. No, sir. I don't think democracy so. cannot work in a country where you have poverty and illiteracy. Because the first thing that poverty takes away from you is your capacity to think. Mm. So one person can think for 100 people. <laughs> and in Western democracy, votes are counted, they are not weighed. You look at the quantity of the vote, but not the quality. What kind of nonsense that Almagiri will vote for people and they don't know what they are, but that is Western democracy. Okay. Somebody will not be voted and go to the National Assembly for four years and he cannot even stand up to, to even support a bill. Mm. And he's taking a long, can you can you blame him? So much money. When the entities will line up, people who don't even know what they are doing. They don't even know what they are voting for. Is that democracy? No, sir. Sir, majority can be foolish. It is. Yes, sir. Circumstances. Yes, sir. Majority okay. can be foolish. Okay. It's not always that the majority is, is always right. Hmm. Until we fashion an electoral process that is in tune with our culture. We have culture, sir. Majority can be foolish, especially when there's mass hunger in the land. Daddy, the first thing that happens when you're hungry is you lose your dignity. Some people still go and line up and vote for APC. Even when there's no reason, no basis for doing so. Oh, God. So it's not even about who is coming. But the system cannot allow you to function. Oh, God. It's crazy. You, you understand, sir? Yes, sir. And in a country where you don't have a clear court leadership recruitment policy, you cannot blame anybody for just coming and saying, I want to be president. Oh, we can't even blame them. You can't blame them. When it is obvious that the person is sick and... Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry, sir. And I'm sorry to say this. Okay. If Buhari can be president, anybody can be president. I'm sorry. Hmm. If President Buhari can be... I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, God. When this man, they were campaigning for him, I warned them. As at that time, in punch then, we were discussing that who should be voted for. I said, let's vote for Okoti. 
Chris Okoti. Yes, sir. When well, Okoti won, when Okoti was a musician, daddy, he succeeded. He ban here. Music Okoti did 10 for 13 era. And when he left music and went to the to the ministry, daddy, to an extent, we saw what he did. Mm -hmm. Okay, what has Buhari achieved before he became president? He never even went for one workshop. One, whatever went on one paper presentation. So why do we entrench mediocrity and not come back to say why artists like this? You know, we need to call the spade a spade. Go. This man that has a uh, in that Niger state, Abdul, what's his name? The former president. Okay, Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam. General Abdul Salam. There are some you will see him even go out to present paper. You can send him to Congo, all of that. Obasanjo, consider to him, forget it. IBB, to some extent. Buhari. You see, General, I'm sorry to say, General is not an achievement. Ogume Loloja. Every one, one year you, are get, you get promoted. And you came and people are rushing to vote for you on what basis? He didn't promise you anything. He only promised you change. And let somebody come and tell me there has not been changes in this country. <laughs> that's, that's funny. You know, that, let me tell you, Nigeria for once to forget election and let restructure this country in a manner that will be reflective of our culture and aspiration as a nation. You can't be pretending that we are part of the federal system where we are part of the unitary. There's no federal state that has as much exclusive list. Federal Minister of Rural Affairs. Okay. Federal Minister of Affairs. No, Rural all those things, the, the, the nonsense. They should be cancelled. Yes, sir. Huh. They should review the exclusive list. There should be proper fiscal policy. There should be proper uh, federation in all ramifications. Or Federal Minister of Women Affairs. Women, women, women Affairs. What is federal about women activities? When the women active women than the rural areas. The rural areas, the local government is the government of the people and should oh. be more empowered, more structured to take care of the need of the people. Like I said earlier, the first factor in development is need assessment. Need assessment, sir. Okay, but let me now ask you now, yes, just sir. to round up the political aspect. Yes, sir. In 2023, you have a lot of people that are coming because I asked General Jembe on this question mm. last Thursday in Abuja in his house. I said, we have one, Bola Ahmed Tinobu now, that mm. is former governor of Lagos State. Mm. He was a former senator. He has ruled Lagos for eight years. Mm. He says he's the national. Okay, we all know that he's the national leader yes, of APC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah, consider yeah. to him. Yeah, we consider to him. And uh, he, let's even say he's the Chokaban of Boku, a small town, a tiny town in Niger State. But now he says he's coming. A lot of people are saying, please, you are too old, don't come. We are seeing these signs, we are seeing that. But he said he's coming. Mm. Now, that's why I decided. We have a more Elisha Ware who has declared today that he's going oh. in for presidency. What, yeah. uh, what, what uh, he declared, I think it's still going to be, I don't know, but he has declared independently today. It might still be AC or any other party, but he has declared right now in Abuja, right now, today. Now we have uh, someone like uh, uh, Mr. Akim Adishino, the African Development Bank. Uh, has he declared? And he has not declared, but people are saying come okay, out. We also have people are saying for the CBN governor. Uh, uh, we have uh, Akin Wade. You know, he's former minister of agriculture. Agriculture. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love the guy. I love fantastic the guy. guy. I love the guy. Then we have some people that say, oh, VP of Zimbabwe, you come out. Come mm. out. Come out. He's a redeemed pastor. Don't forget, mm. a lawyer, and uh, he has his own, uh, you know, apparatchik and all that. But Ojikalu uh, as Okrocha, Rochas has declared. Ojikalu is there. Then. Um, Ojikalu has declared. Ojikalu has declared. Then uh, we have a lot of them. But if you look at this four: Akin Wadishino, Bola Tinubu, um, uh, Omo Ware, and uh, Yemi Osibaju. Which one do you think is closely to read that if we are to be in the same society, oh. in a rational mind dead society, who among them should we take? We should look at. Oh. No, no, I don't think uh, so. uh, 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 Sir, yeah. you see, let me be very clear with you. Yes. Honestly speaking, if I am by any chance close to Bola Tinobu, I would advise him to rest. Are you getting it? Okay, sir. Because number one, you see, the stakes are higher now. The last time he was saying it uh, humorously that he was not going on a uh, hundred meter distance, it's going to be more than that, too. Because before the emergence of Buhari, 
the stakes were not as high as this. But Nigerians are more interested on who become the president. Ah, Iyanya mm. Posa. You don't understand. Mm. Before now, they don't even care about who become the president. Because but who does not care now? Bag of rice was 8,000. Sir. Now it's 23, So the stakes 000. are higher. 30,000 now. I get it. Bag of rice so it might not really demand more, much physical distance, but what's what they did. You see, I'm sorry to say this. Because it, it should not be seen that the presidency is gradually becoming a rehabilitation center. Hmm. You, 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 you understand? I understand, sir. And every father should be happy when you see that your son is growing. At that point in time, what do you do? You fold your arm if you have genuine intention. Hmm. Honestly speaking, if I have my way, I will support to see you. Oh, you support? Yes. Professor Yemi, you see, because number one, you see, Presidency is not for juvenile. It's not for juvenile. It's not for juvenile. Maybe should that we don't have a juvenile delinquency. I'm telling you, it's not for juvenile. You see, you need to understudy the system. You cannot influence a system you don't understand. And then I'm not going to answer. Even God allowed Moses to understand the system. That's why the God will pray as a spiritual leader. Are you getting it? When you say Moses, drop your rod, it will turn to snake. You say pick it because it's snake you are going to deal with in Egypt. Begin mm -hmm. to familiarize yourself with it. Mm -hmm. I allowed him to go into the house of Pharaoh. Sir, if you are not careful, if you come from outside, you can use eight years to the understand system presidency. Oh, complex, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, they have made this so complex that if you don't understand how the system runs, you won't influence it. One day, by that. So honestly speaking, if you ask me, he has been there. But the problem is, there are people who own this country. And they say you want to commit political suicide, or imagines. And there's going to be unwritten codes. There's going to be a lot of unwritten agreements. And they say you're exceptionally brief and exceptionally audacious. You will not be able to tamper with the resolution of the real problem of this country. You see, because it's easy for you to become president. Hey, we share money to farmers. Hey, let's empower women. That is not the real problem of this country. They know the problem, but you won't allow them to tackle it. Mm. The system of this country is built on injustice. I'm telling you. And there are individuals who, who believe that, okay, let just, once they take decision, that is all. And I begin to wonder, where are the opposition? I'm telling you, I never even knew PDP could be this weak as an opposition. They left at a point where just single individual man called Dino. Everybody, Dino kept, lie. everybody kept quiet. And when you have a government that doesn't have a vibrant opposition, are you getting it? Then the government in power will misbehave. So we need a third force. The third force. Yes, and we need a very strong third force. Opposition is very important. Uh, look at Awolowo. I was at a program with my friend Amsa, and the particular tribe was talking. That day I did not really want to talk, so I don't offend a lot of nerves. Mm. And they are talking of being marginalized. The Igbos are not marginalized. Uh, you mean the Igbos are not you marginalized? No, sir. Why? Before now, sir, the whole, whole house southwest have only been the opposition. Until this guy came, until Obasanjo came, and Obasanjo was not even representing the Yoruba. It's the owner of this country that put him there. Mm. Before now, the ego, they have all been alliance with the North. How did they, the first president of this country was an Igbo man? Dr. Nam Yes, sir. And at a point after the so-called the war, Alex Kweme became the vice president to, 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 to Zagari. But the Yorubas have been calm, and they have not been complaining. Under Abbasanjo, we have many of them who became the Senate president. When you are talking of a uh, strong marginalization, you understand? As big as a, a, a motif as a nation, as, as big as they are, the they, are not, yeah, they, are, they are not superior to Kabama, no. All nationalities are equal. I agree with you. So if they are completely and being marginalized, they should not even talk of marginalization. They know the way. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Because Yorubas, I said it with all sense of it, they are more accommodating and more hospitable 
than some people who are claiming to be marginalized. I agree. And that thing works for you in politics. There are some traditional uh, dispositions that work against you in Western democracy. Mm. You understand? Yes, so the issue of marginalization, if you want to begin to open it, even women will say they are marginalized. The women too? Yes. They become angry? Yes. Because they are more. If you are going to pass a democracy, then the women should be president. They are more in number. They are more in number. If you are talking of democracy, is the rule by the majority. Then the men are not in the majority. So there's no segment you bring today that will not talk of being marginalized. It's a thief man, not in Nigeria. They are Nigerians. Apart from when they gave IU to be coming to come this thing. They are also entitled to the presidency. Your child, you. And we look at that thing now, we now say, can't we even vote for the white lion himself and the author of one bison, your governor? Governor Yabili, who has come out to say he wants to be president, that the youth are the ones that are pushing him. When you look at this kind of character too now, what do you say about being president? You see, the white lion, the white lion. The one bison, the price one bison. His Excellency, the executive yeah. governor of Kogi State. You no, know, I served under him. Oh, we're very sorry, sir. For sorry, sir. over five years. I didn't even know. Sorry, sir. And uh, I. That is Yaya Adoza Belu. Yes. I think they just put the Adoza now <laughs> to make it more. Heavy. I love his bravery. You understand? Mm -hmm. You see, but we need to be very careful here. Mm. You need know, to be very careful. Okay, sir. And before I go into any details, let me give you something. You know me, I'm a journalist and I balance the equation. Okay, sir. Every coin has two sides. Okay, sir. Let's consist some to him. At the moment, I don't care how he did it. But at the moment, in fairness to him, he has empowered women. It is only in Kogi State now that you can have the chairman, the vice chairman in the 21 local government, all are women. I can't believe this. I can't believe how did he do it? You understand? The legislative leaders, all are women. Yeah, are, are you getting it? I am here to see any governor. And uh, you see, you know, some great differences come out of default. At that deliberate out of default, there are several women like him. Let's consider to him. I can't believe it. I'm hearing you for the first time, sir. Are, are, are you getting it? Mm. You see, but honestly speaking, if you are going to put people on, um, on channel scale. of review, scale of review, I will ask him to wait first. You, you, you understand? You see, hmm. <laughs> you, you see, Kogi State, somebody told me that if you want to recruit somebody who finally become president, let him go through Kogi. Can be complex. Mm -hmm. But um, I will advise, because honestly speaking, I will support you, Sebastian. Or oh, don't you think that if His Excellency President Yaya Doza Belu will be more rhythmically good in mouth than say uh, His Excellency Yemi Osibaju, something like that? I mean, Yaya Adoza Belu. I mean, His Excellency. Ye yes. Honestly speaking, ordinarily, he is my governor. I don't know Yemi Osibaju, and I've not been close to him. You see, but honestly speaking, in this country, we need to sharpen our capacity for rational analysis. Okay. Mm. We don't need to be unnecessarily emotional. Mm. We don't need to be unnecessarily sentimental. Are you getting it? I mentioned this before now. Mm. About 20 years ago, the presidency was not as tough as this. Mm. The stakes are high. Because we, we build so much premium on individual rather than institution. Hmm. In advanced country, you need strong institution rather than strong individual. Hmm. And the expectation on the individuals now is also very high. And you need to understand the system before you will be able to influence it. Presidency is very complex. It's complex, sir. It's very complex. There are a lot that the, the power equation is very tough. Okay. So I, 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 I will rather crave the indulgence of so many other people, not because they are not great people, but there's a difference between good leader and the right leader.
Mm. That's interesting. There's a difference between the good leader and the right leader. I think that's summing up. And uh, on these notes, we are going to close this discussion. Uh, there is no talk about the book. book, book. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, people, people, uh, before we close up, because we are bringing you back for more politics and the rest and the power of the night, the power of women. Yeah. But we wanted to say it that a lot of people are saying that they need a book from you. Yeah, here. as a matter of fact, by the grace of God, maybe when next I'm coming, I'll come with some of the drafts. Uh, I'll come with some of the books. Okay, because... I have, like, uh, the okay. the magic in Pentecostal Church. Okay, sir. It's a book now. Yes, sir. What your pastor will not tell you, we have it. Okay, sir. Why are we here on earth? Okay, we sir. have it. Okay, sir. Three most important things in your life. Okay, sir. We have it and others. Okay. Uh, okay, by, by then, when uh, the pastor, Dio Thomas, comes with these books, Definitely, as usual, you are seeing his phone number scrolling. And at that time, I think he's going to properly tell us the right channel to pick those books, how they can be courier to you, how you can get them, both in Nigeria, in America, in London, and any other part of the world, even in Accra, Ghana, Casablanca, Freetown, anywhere. But till then, we want you to know that the truth will always avail itself and the truth will always try on in the short and in the long run. I want to thank you. You've seen other videos. The phone numbers are going in there. If you call Pastor Dial, two months is not picking, definitely it's going to get back to you. His peer will rather reach out to you, drop a message, and you get lots more orientation. We want you to please continue to share the truth. Share the truth. Bury falsehood. And we'll meet him the next time. We want to thank you. Happy New Year once again. God bless you. Goodbye.